viewers, how the devil are you? Well, it's been a while, but I'm back. I've got even more ideas for stirring up the safety sissies and all the environmental Nazis, uh, and we're really going to give them a workout. We might even uh, do some uh, oil burning, metal casting, and I'm thinking about doing a few other uh, different ideas as far as DIY projects, home power generation and things like that. So, on with the show! I finally got round to doing what I've been going to do for probably a year now and that's uh, build myself another furnace and improve upon it. As you can see it's just basically six bricks around which gives me enough gap in the middle to put my crucible and I've put a bit of um, sand and clay mix around it this time. I'll show you what it looks like inside. This was just a mix of uh, builder's sand and clay. It probably was about 60% um, clay and the other sand. I wanted it a little bit um, more consistent with, with binding up, I should say. So that's how I've done it. I've done this before in uh, one of my other vids in the, in the potbelly stove and it held up remarkably well. I've just got the blower uh, on the side for the moment there's just a small uh, gap left in the brickwork and that's where I'm either going to run the burner through or I'm just going to put a pipe with an oil feed uh, preheat it with wood and do it that way so what I'm going to do now is uh, fire it up I've had the, the blower running most of the afternoon to dry this off and it looks pretty dry on the top anyway so I'm going to put some wood in it and uh, fire it up and I might see if I can put the crucible in and do something different in melting aluminium just with wood. To dry the furnace out I'm not going to go um, over the top with uh, too much oil burning power this time. I'm just going to basically uh, heat up some uh, wood, burn some wood and uh, see how I go from there. If it goes alright I might throw in some bigger stuff and see if I can do an aluminium melt. Okay, there's a quick look just to start off fire up, go over the top a bit and that's running on um, pretty restricted air with the blower. As you can see there's a, uh, a bit of a, a blockage on the inlet just to tame it down a bit but you don't need a whole lot of uh, air, it'll, uh, it'll burn real well just like that. Time for some more wood I think. Now one thing I can see that you get with wood, which you don't get with oil, is uh, lots of hot sparks dropping out everywhere. So for all the safety sissies that are always whining about fires and what have you, you know, be careful. What can I say? And that's coming along quite nicely, getting quite a bit of heat there and sparks already. I think we might have a look at sitting our crucible up there and see how we go. A bit of forced air certainly does make a lot of difference to the heat that you get out of anything. I've got that blower choked well down and as you can see that's getting real bloody hot just with a bit of timber. I'll throw a bit more in for good measure. Now I'm going to get into the safety warning real early today because it's been a while and as my regular viewers would know I get endless safety sissies pissing and moaning and carrying on all the bloody time but I've decided to take it all a bit more seriously and I'm going to try and you know be more safety conscious and here we go here's the first thing 
I'm going to start putting up safety signs. So in all my vids from now on, I'll put up a safety sign and, you know, hopefully that'll keep people a lot more happy. Today is no horse riding round a furnace. When your aluminium melting or got an oil burner fired up, please don't ride a horse. It's dangerous. You shouldn't do it. Hopefully this safety tip will keep a few of you more brain dead idiots alive a little bit longer. Why the hell we'd want to do that, I've got no idea, but I'm just tired of the pissing and moaning and carrying on, you know. Really, do the hell, what the hell you want, but you know, now nobody can say that I'm not thinking of those people that would be really better off not here. Anyway, there you go. Okay, I've put a bit more wood in. It uh, doesn't sit exactly flat and even, even though I tried to cut it pretty small. But I'll, uh, I'll throw the crucible in and let it sit and we'll see how we go with melting. I've made the uh, furnace small enough so the crucible can't actually fall over and it'll take a while I think before it gets hot enough before anything uh, melts and it matters anyway. So I'll leave that there and uh, see how it goes. I'll just add in a bit more wood round the sides just to keep the heat up. Some of the uh, clay and sand is flaking already, probably because the bricks are expanding, but, you know, see how that goes as well. might be better towards the bottom where it's thicker. It's pretty thin on the top and I probably should have wet the bricks when I put it on but you know no big deal it'll take me you know 10 or 15 minutes to play mud pie again and I can always redo it so not a worry. You know I should do a bigger version of this and then you all Americans could burn the politician of your choice. That ought to keep this happy. Now, just to show you I'm a man of my word, as you can see, I'm wearing safety gear. So, therefore, nothing bad can happen to me. Ah, oh, shit. Right. I might be wearing a girl's safety gear, but it's safety gear. So now I'm protected and I'm right. So, an another reason you can stop hassling and pissing and moaning about safety. I'm wearing it, all right? Okay, so the timber's burning along. Hopefully the aluminium's getting nice and hot. And that brings us to our second safety tip of the day. Here we go. Seatbelt must be worn. Now, I don't want to hear any excuses about you're not driving or, you know, you're just standing there. This is safety, okay? So, I mean, you don't worry about things like, you know, facts and logic and all that. You just have to be safe. So, whenever you're melting aluminium or firing up a furnace, please always remember to wear a seatbelt. I don't know where you're going to get one. You'll have to probably go to the wreckers and get one and put it around yourself. And, you know, some might say you look stupid, but, you know, hey, you know, it's safety. And what do we always say? Safety third. That's right. So please wear your seatbelt at all times, even when you're not in a vehicle. As you can see, viewers, I've got it stoked well up, but I'm not really sure how efficient it is. I think there's as much burning above it as there is below and to the sides, but maybe it's better than what I thought. What I'll do is I'll chuck in this other piece of uh, leftover aluminium I've got, and we'll see if it'll melt that down direct. 
That's certainly going to be in the flames. I lined the bottom of this with the sand and clay mix, so it should just puddle, and hopefully I'll be able to pull it out without too much problem. I can see one thing already, the weight of the crucible is pushing the bricks around, so this really would need to have something on the sides and pulling it all in tight. I've had this going for probably 20 minutes now, and the outside of the bricks is still completely cool to the touch, so I reckon you could probably do it even with some timber and just tie it together to hold the thing in place. I might have a look at doing that tomorrow. Well, viewers, this certainly doesn't look to be as uh, efficient at melting as what uh, oil burning power is, that's for sure. But then again, lots of people have got easier access to timber than they do oil, so if we can get it to melt, that's probably all right. If you use bigger uh, wood and maybe stoked it up a bit more to start with, it would be all right. You probably can't see it, but that lifting bolt there that I've got is glowing quite red. So hopefully the rest of it's gaining plenty of heat as well. Don't know if you can see it, but I am getting a bit of puddled aluminium on the top. Not quite sure if that was from that other piece that I threw in or where it's coming from, but uh, there is signs of melting. I might just give it a few minutes because I'm fast running out of daylight. I'll pull it out and I'll see if I did actually get any sort of a melt. Here's another overhead shot after it's been burning a while. Better shot there of the uh, molten aluminium and the way the fire is burning. It, uh, it is a bit slow, slower than I would have thought actually. Maybe I should have just pumped some oil in it over the top and got it going that way. Oh well, it's always the first time and uh, we'll do better next time. I think I'll pull the crucible out now, um, have a look and show you what it's, uh, what it's done. I'm going to put the, uh, the crucible down on my safety sign which tells everybody that it's going to be hot when it comes out I mean you know I'm gonna take this safety stuff really seriously folks you know I mean I, I recognize it's about time so let's see how it comes out Definitely some molten material there. Okay, so that looks like some of it has. Oh, oh, there seems. Oh, oh, there seems to be a bit of a problem. Oh, oh dear. Oh well, like like I said, it. Yep. Mm, uh, it is. It is hot. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm not lying. Um, yep, so anyway, uh, it's a good job we got a sign, so everybody can be safe and knows what's going on. So, there is a little, <laughs> safety, Jesus Christ. So there is a bit of um, molten material on the top there, um, not a whole lot, it still feels pretty solid, so... We'll, uh, we'll have a go next time and I'll uh, go back to something uh, a little bit more uh, practical that I'm um, more used to and that's oil burning power. Anyway, hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to try and get on to a lot more. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, click the like button if you enjoyed this and uh, share it around by all means. See you soon folks. I give you value viewers, there's always an extra bit at the end, uh, here you might be able to see that the, uh, the aluminium that I did put in is quite molten, a lot of um, my clay has, has flaked off, that's not been as good as I yeah, hoped, but at any rate, um, so it does work, it probably could work as a scrapping furnace, I thought that I might uh, be able to put some sort of a pan on the bottom with the drain and just throw the things in, but then again my old oil drums work pretty well too, so 
go back to that. Interesting to see how all the other material is floating on top of the aluminium. So there you go. It, uh, it can work, probably just needs a bit more effort. <laughs> no horse riding. You know, I bet there's clowns out there that'd probably bloody try it. You know, maybe it's not all for nothing. <laughs>